Hey everybody, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I've got a really killer uh, gaming laptop. In fact, it's uh, so nice we're giving it a Notebooks.com Editor's Choice Award. This is the MSI Phantom, I'm sorry, MSI GS40 Phantom. It's a 14 inch uh, gaming laptop with a Skylake 6 Gen Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, this thing has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD hard drive plus an additional one terabyte um, internal 7200 RPM hard drive. It's really fast. It's going to handle gaming really well. So let's take a look at it. So let's take a look at what you get. Of course, look at this beautiful backlit keyboard. Uh, the MSI GS40 uh, Phantom is, uh, it kind of gives a look like a, a high-end sports car with the trim. You can see the red trim around the, uh, the touch pad, the red backlit keyboard, uh, the red glow under the power um, button. On the lid, of course, we get the MSI logo with the uh, gaming G series logo. That just looks uh, really nice and, and it kind of gives you a look of a sports car. You can almost see uh, the design with the lines. It uh, looks like the hood of a, of a nice car. And then there's that red trim right there along the front edge of the, the lid. Of course we'll show you the sides here. This is the left hand side and you get an Ethernet port, the uh, power connector, a USB 3.0 port. There's a SD card slot. It's a full-size SD card slot. And then, of course, you get the uh, microphone in and a hi-fi uh, output port. Uh, it's got very good audio quality. And if you have the kind of headphones that support this uh, special output type, then you can really get excellent audio quality. Now we'll take a look uh, over here on the left-hand side of the computer. You get the uh, exhaust vent and then a HDMI output cable. It's the latest version so it'll support any kind of um, uh, HDMI video that you need. A fast USB 3.0 port and then an even really faster uh, Type-C USB connector. And back here on the back, notice a couple of uh, ex exhaust fans, uh, that's for heat for this powerful processor. And then right there in the middle you notice a mini display port that also is a Thunderbolt port. And uh, of course you know Thunderbolt supports lots of different things including video out and some uh, high speed uh, transfer rates for hard drives and docking stations and things like that. Then down here on the front of the computer, a couple more exhaust fans. You can probably hear that uh, exhaust fan running. And then you get three indicator lights on the front. Uh, this one on the left is uh, for wireless. It tells you whether the Wi-Fi is turned on or not. The battery indicator that shows right now that it's got, um, you know, it's not lit up at all. And uh, then the hard drive indicator light showing that it's accessing the hard drive. I want to just quickly mention the brick, the power charger. <laughs> it's enormous. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Uh, probably one of the biggest that I've seen on a notebook computer in a long time. That's uh, necessary to power all of this uh, machine. It's just got an awful lot of power. Uh, but that's going to make it a lot less mobile. I wouldn't call this a desktop replacement. Uh, it's a little too small for that. But uh, with that brick, it's a lot less mobile if you're having to carry that around. Uh, we get about four hours of battery life on average, which, uh, which is pretty good for something this powerful. Now, I talked about the beautiful keyboard backlit, but the keyboard itself, it's a Steel Series, uh, intended as a gaming system uh, keyboard, and it really works well. It's got a, um, a good feel, a good response rate. Uh, sometimes it's a little too sensitive, and I get repeated uh, words as I type, but for gaming, it's going to be excellent. And then, of course, there's that great Dyn audio uh, sound, and it sounds really good, both the, the 
regular audio as you're listening to it or if you plug in those uh, headphones. That is if you have the headphones that support um, the really high, high quality digital audio. The trackpad on it or the touchpad is, you know, it's a traditional Windows uh, touchpad. It's just not very good. I don't care for it. Most gamers are going to plug in a gaming mouse, you know, maybe from Razer or uh, something like that. This is one that, you know, if, you ha if you're forced to use it, it's okay, but I, I just really didn't enjoy using it. Now, you'll notice there's no touch screen, but it is a 14-inch matte screen. It's got 1080p uh, resolution, which is nice. Uh, it's bright enough most of the time. However, you're going to have to run it slightly brighter than you would normally, which is probably what reduces the battery life. If you go down here to the uh, action center and you can pull up, let's see here, it's running at 80% now, 100%. 25% and in this room 25% would probably be adequate although I'd rather rather run it at 50% uh, for my taste. I really like this computer after all we said we're giving it our notebooks.com editors choice award I feel it, like it really deserves it uh, the power and speed of the computer with the 6th gen Skylake processor 16 gigs of RAM uh, the super fast uh, SSD. It's got Type C port on it as well as Thunderbolt. Uh, the keyboard is really nice if you're going to type or if you want to play games on it. Um, the the matte screen display doesn't have a lot of glare even in a bright room like I'm in right now. And it's bright enough, although you, you most of the time you can run a computer about 50%. This one in really bright rooms, you might want to run it at about 75%, which will reduce battery life some. Uh, the only cons that I would say, first of all, there's no fingerprint reader, uh, no touch screen on it, and that uh, touchpad on it is pretty miserable. But, you know, most Windows computers, the touchpads are pretty miserable, so I can't fault it too much. I really like this one. It is expensive at $15.99. Uh, if you look around, you might find a deal. I think I saw one for $15.49. But... At that price, it, it uh, I actually think that that uh, price is warranted because of the quality of the hardware that you're getting. Yes, it's a plastic case, but it's a high-quality plastic case, and it feels like it's going to be durable and long-lasting. I don't like the brick. I think the brick is way too big, but uh, that's a minor annoyance. All in all, the, uh, the minor things that I don't like about it are things that uh, I can dismiss pretty easily, and the positives so far outweigh them that this makes this uh, definitely worthy of a Notebooks.com Editor's Choice Award. This has been Kevin Versell for Notebooks.com with the MSI GS40 Phantom Gaming Laptop. It's a real plus. Go get one. Thanks for watching.